Hello and welcome to Never Enough Cruising. Uh, today is another maintenance job I've got to carry out and that's on the greaser for the stern seal. As you can see just down there, our greaser is at the bottom of its travel, so it wants topping up. And this one's all, all linked in and the tube goes down into the bottom, into the stern tube here. There's a main adjuster down there. More of that later. Right, now there's been a few videos on um, different logs in reference to how you top these up. There's quite a simple method which I'm going to show you in just a second. But I'm going to take you through the parts of the actual greaser itself. This is a spare one that was connected to the boat. Um, it served no purpose whatsoever so I've taken it out as a spare. It was connected to the plumber block down there at my feet but unfortunately at the end of the tube was a grease nipple so there was no way it was ever going to force the grease in through the grease nipple with this. Right, component parts. This whole unit will be connected to your boat by screws either on a bulkhead somewhere or to a deck. As you can see ours are on onto blocks of wood that are uh, in position down there so it keeps it in place. Right, so the base of it, the main body screws into and the grease will come out through a tube through this hole when you turn the top. Now, these parts, it all comes apart so you can clean it up. Inside there is a plunger, which is what you force down when you screw it down. I'm not going to take it out, because I only just put it back in. Inside that seal there is an O seal, which is connected. There's like two big washers, one this side, one the other, and in the middle is an O seal. You can just see the inside there. There it is, there's the O seal. Right, there's a screw top. just screws straight on there. Nice and tight so you don't get any grease coming out. And there's the plunger there. If I wind it right the way down you'll see it goes down more or less to the bottom. Right that's fully down. There's about five six mil quarter of an inch space there because obviously you've got that nut there and inside there you've got a recess which usually stays full of grease because you can't pump it out any further than, than that. Right, now to the easy way of topping these up. That's how it will look inside the boat or on the bulkhead wherever you've got it positioned and it's time to top it up because the plunger's right down. Now, there's a few ways of doing this. I'll, sh I'll show you the easy way without getting too messy tub of waterproof grease, water resistant grease, get that from any chandlers online if you want to get it cheaper. There's your plunger all the way down, there's no grease in there whatsoever. Put that over the top of that circle that's in the grease there, that's a plastic disc inside with a hole in the middle. Put it over the top, hold on to that with downward pressure and just screw this up. It causes a vacuum inside the tube and sucks the grease up into it. Takes a minute or so just to keep the downward pressure on. We've even got the military coming over to have a look now in their helicopters, I can hear them coming. there. You notice I'm wearing gloves as well. I didn't have them on earlier and I was covering grease when I was cleaning this one up. Comes up quite a way. That's it, fully up now. I went back for the turn so I know it's just an old trick I did in the Navy. Right, 
get that out of there, put it to one side, keeps the grease inside, a little bit of grease that I've caught on the outside, I'll wipe that off. And as you can see, he's filled up with grease. There's a little bit of an air gap there, but all that is full of grease. Now, all I have to do, come down to this one. The old blue Peter trick one I did earlier. That one's almost empty. I'm gonna clean all this out now, because over the years, we've had the boat two years, and I've always used this grease. As you can see, right at the bottom of this, there's been a mixture of greases there. Well now, the system will get fully loaded with the, the other grease. I'll just give that a wipe off. Puppy pads come in very Puppy handy Puppy pads, this. cheap from well-known discount stores. <laughs> I've got 100 of them for about 15 quid. They're good for soaking up oil as well. Right, there's the full one going back in. Sorry about the mess in there, but there we go. Right, now I'm just going to charge it up until she goes solid. I've got another job to do in a minute. Right, I'm getting quite a bit of resistance on that now. So that's charged that system now down to the plumber block, squeeze the grease into the packing that's inside the tube, the, uh, the stern tube. Did I say gearbox just now? Never mind. Um, I've got to repack this stern tube. As you can see, the boat is in water. Now, there is a way of doing it, and if it works out okay, you're gonna see it on a vlog. If it don't work out okay, I'm gonna be um, raising the boat if it sinks. <laughs> but more of that in a different vlog. So, other ways of topping these up that I've seen. Some people wind that all the way back out as you can see, that's uh, pulling the grease that was left in there up to the top again. But if you've got a different grease in there, that's going to foul the new grease This going is going to mix it all up. As you can see, there's a mixture of grease in there now. Now, that, that one that's gone in now has been completely cleaned out, as this one will be um, after this vlog. And then it'll go in a plastic bag, food, little food bag, sandwich bag, all clean and empty very small smear of grease inside it around that uh, O seal I showed you just to keep it it's all it's all made of brass so it's not going to go rusty but I put it into a food bag um, so it keeps it clean it doesn't get any muck on any grease that is in there As I say, there are other vlogs out there with um, different ways how people do theirs. That's the easiest way I've found by putting it over the top, sucking it up in with the actual device. It's uh, an easy method. But what I have seen people do, and that's more or less at the top now, and as you can see, it's all stuck to the side and obviously the tube's full of air. What I have seen people do is scoop that up with their finger and start pushing it in. Well, okay, you're gonna get some in there, you're gonna get all messy if you're not wearing gloves. It's going to take a heck of a long time to do it that way. It, well, you got to, as you go to squeeze the air out, it pushes grease out as well. And, yeah, yeah. Um, that's the easiest way of doing it, I've found, by sucking it up through, using the vacuum inside that you're creating with the downward pressure, and it's, it's not so messy. Yes, I had some on the outside. That's only because I caught this grease here, but that's going to be scraped off into my other tin in a minute. Um, I hope you found that uh, helpful. It's only one of the small jobs I'm going to be doing at the back here. Probably be filming some more in a minute if I can find all the parts I've got. I um, hope you found it uh, interesting. If you did, tick the. Uh, give us a like. Give us a like, <laughs> that's the one. Um, any comments down below and I'll, I'll answer them. Um, there's the grease I use, I didn't show you it very much. There are other ones on the market, yeah. but um, that's the one we use. And I bought that at the Chandler's, not online. If there's any other sort of um, maintenance jobs you want Jonathan to talk you through, 
um, put in the comments below. Other jobs that are going to be coming up um, over the winter are down here, especially at the stern tube, and how to repack that. Um, if I've got the cord, I'm sure I have somewhere, I've got to go and find it. And uh, I'll be tackling that today, and we'll make another vlog with that, hopefully. Um, where I've just greased that stern tube now, that's that's forced grease into there, and it, it would have forced it out through the, this nose of the um, stern tube as well. And that's going to allow me, hopefully, to withdraw the sleeve, put some new packing in, push the sleeve back up, and readjust everything. But uh, as I say, that's for another vlog. Um, other maintenance I've got to do is the service on the engine. Um, that'll be on. Which again, if you tell the viewers what we've got. Yeah, we've um, DM2 Russell Newbury. 18 horsepower, 33 year old, uh, and at maximum speed, 1000 revs. I'm going to be doing an oil change and filter change on that. A um, bit easier than doing it on an engine that is sat at the back here or inside the boat on a, on a semi trad, so just down here. Um, if you've got a cruiser stern, <laughs> more than likely it's going to be down inside here. So, as you can tell, it's uh, quite difficult to get to. Ours is a bit easier because I can get all the way around it. More of that in a different vlog. Hope you found it interesting. Catch you later.